Hello and welcome to the tutorial about Maya projects and relative texture paths. When you're working in a Maya project, one of the things that you will encounter when you're working with other people on the same project, and this uh, by project I mean any assignment you're working on. You could be working on a video game project together, you could be working on a cinematic project together, um, but you need to share files between the both of you or with a team. Uh, one of the things that really sends people um, searching unnecessarily for a lot of different uh, things and, and kind of waste a lot of time is the constant reconnecting of textures because that texture is in a location that exists only in the author's um, folder structure for their particular computer. So if someone's working on a Macintosh, they cannot have the same folder structure to look for a texture as someone on a PC just naturally by dint of a Macintosh not having a D directory or a C directory. So these things, uh, just sharing them between people, if you have something that's specific, I've got mine in my downloads directory, it's kind of all over the map here. Um, if it's in a specific location on your computer, yeah, it might find it, but no one else is. And so when you share the file, it's gonna be broken like this. So here's a way that you can make relative texture paths so that everyone can um, automatically read in a file and have the textures come in uh, connected. This is a dependency though, and the dependency is that you have to be working in the same project. So from here on out, I'm gonna to refer to projects in a different way. I'm gonna to refer to projects in the sense of the way Maya thinks about projects. Maya thinks about projects in the sense that every time you run Maya, you are effectively in a folder structure Maya has created and it's called a Maya project. To see which one you're currently in, go to the File menu and drop down to Project Window. It will give you a pop-up window here that tells you exactly where you're working from, as well as the location. Now, most people don't even know they're working in a Maya project because you can go down here to Set Project as well. Um, I'm gonna set mine to where most people automatically are working from without even knowing it, which tends to be under the Documents Maya Projects default folder. So this is kind of where you start. Every time you start up Maya, you're actually in this project. And a little trick you can use is to just sort of cut and paste that folder structure to see, do I have that folder there? Yes, I do. Under it, you see all these subfolders Maya automatically creates. Well, okay, great. So now we know what a Maya project is. How do we make one? How do we create a common project so that we can start making relative textures? Um, this is in the project window. I'll show you again where to, put, where to grab that, project window. You can come up here to the button that says new, and it actually will create a new project for you, and you can rename it, uh, and you can also change the location before you hit accept. And notice that it's also getting ready to create all these subfolders so that when you're done, you can go to that location and you can have all kinds of um, subfolders, each one with a different purpose, scenes, templates, images, source images, etc. So be careful what you do, but if you want to start making relative texture paths, what you need to do is to make sure that when you create your project, again under project window here, where you put it is arbitrary. It's up to you. You can put it on your desktop. You can put it on an external drive. You can put it on Dropbox. You can put it in the C directory. It does not matter. What is crucial is the name. You have to have the same name as anybody else that is working um, on the same goal as you. This Maya project has to be very specific uh, and very specifically named. So whatever, you're, whatever you folks decide upon, when you're working with someone else and you're sharing Maya files with them that have textures, you need to come up with an agreed upon convention and stick to it. In this case, for my ITP 215 class, I've asked students to name it capital ITP underscore, hearkening back to my Unix days, and then 215. Where I put it is up to me. I can put it any of the locations I previously mentioned. At that point, I hit accept and it will create this Maya project. Uh, in fact, we can just use that little trick. So go to project window, 
I'm going to double click the location and copy it. Open up a folder window and just click on V and paste it. And suddenly I can see the folder I've just created or rather the project. And it's got all these subfolders under it. Excellent. So again, what you where you create it is up to you, but the name is crucial. So you need to agree upon that. Otherwise, it's going to be broken. So let's now that we've created this uh, folder structure, let's go over another rule, which is I'm going to uh, go to my project window here. I'm in ITP 215, uh, even though I just deleted the folder, I understand. I want to change my location to set project. Let's go to another uh, section, default. I'll just set it to that. I'm now working in the default directory. If I open the scene, it takes me to that directory. I go into the scenes folder under default. Okay, well that kind of tracks because under default, there's a scene folder. There we are. Wonderful. So that that uh, that works. So if I want to read in this texture, I need to make sure this texture is in the proper project first and foremost. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If I'm trying to grab a, a texture from another project, that's not going to work. I have to have this texture inside the project that I'm currently working in. And let me give you a, uh, a sample of what that, that's like. So if I set my project to something else, I currently have many other Maya projects here on my Dropbox folder. So if I were to set it to something uh, CSCI 281, I'm setting it to that. How I can make this texture relative is that I come in here. Well, first of all, I want to verify just really quickly. Yep, I don't want the set project window. I want the project window and I'm working in CSCI 281 and the location's perfect. I can even do the extra test of opening scene. I'm now in 281, wonderful. So I know the, the file I'm looking for, this texture file is in that project. If it is not, this will not work. So the next step to, uh, sort of the last step to create a relative texture path is that I need to click on this folder icon under uh, the hypershade. Again, materials, textures, I'm just going to select this texture. I'm clicking on the folder icon and I'm going to go to the directory and that looks like I'm done. But watch this, it actually does not change it. It doesn't always change it to uh, what you want. So if I read in something here, uh, let's say scenes, superhero build, superhero CV, see now it changes to a relative texture path. Um, if you are getting problems changing it, because sometimes Maya has that bug that it just doesn't work, click on the folder icon and uh, make sure that you've got your current project set here on the, on the lower left. Make sure it's exactly what you want because you've got a couple to choose from. And then come up here and actually go and uh, <clears throat> go to that folder, to that project, just from top level down. And if you do this, it should fix your problem of it becoming a relative texture path. Once you make this a relative texture path, <clears throat> it means you have your project set correctly. It means this texture file is in that project and you've gone through this process to make sure that this is a uh, relative texture path. There's no absolute, there's no C directory, there's no top level anything. Save your Maya file. And the reason is, if you don't, then you've changed something, but you haven't actually saved it in the Maya file. So this is the way that you can verify that you're in the right project is by verifying that you have relative textures and make sure that's all you have in case you need to come up here and do an optimized scene size to get rid of stuff you don't need, great. But make sure that you've got nothing but relative texture paths before you save things um, when you are working with a group of people on something. And that's the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.